guys welcome back to how to repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel in today's video guys we will show you how to replace tpms sensor on chevy vehicle guys any chevy chevy cruise malibu equinox truck silverado guys whatever you have guys we'll explain how you need uh, how, how you can replace the tpms sensor this is guys the sensor that detects how much air how much air pressure you have in your tire and if it's low it activates the light that starts blinking on the dash as you know it's a must to have that system installed on your vehicle nowadays, that safety, so uh, you have to have it in order, guys, okay, when you buy the new car for the manufacturer to sell it to you. So, stay with us, guys, and if yours goes bad, we'll explain, guys, okay, how you can replace it today. We'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, guys, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Let's start on it now. So in order guys to replace the sensor now we have to remove the wheel of the car and now we are going to deflate the tire. We'll show you guys all the tools and parts that we use will be listed in the description of the video below including the tire machine and the balancer guys. Okay those are very inexpensive but they work amazing we love those things. We used to get uh, we, we got the cheaper set in the past and it wasn't good but this is one of the best ones that you can get for the money. Remove the valve stem now. Let the air out and we'll continue. So next guys we are going to break the tire loose, it's very important guys, okay you can see where the valve stem is, okay where your valve stem is that's where the sensor is, so never ever apply any pressure here guys, I usually go at about uh, 90 degrees from the valve stem, here, here and 180 to break the wheel loose, okay let me explain to you now, okay and see, okay what it looks like. Same thing guys for the back side, always make sure that the valve stem, okay our valve stem is right here now, so you don't apply any pressure on it or you will mess it up. Now let me explain guys how you remove the wheel, the tire from the wheel. It's very important guys to bring your valve stem, okay bring your valve stem, let me get the weight out so okay we don't catch it again. To bring the valve stem where we are going to start. Remove all the weights from the outside of the wheel because otherwise you will cause damage to your wheel. Okay perfect. Now, We'll just bring it down. Okay, to about right here. Press down, be careful not to hit it with your pry bar because that sensor will be there, some will be small, some will be bigger. Okay, and pry. Remove the water, the tire. Okay, now come again to the valve stem point, a little bit right before the valve stem. So let's come down here guys and I'll show you where the sensor is located. Okay, we come down all the way down. Okay, check out now guys that little thing, okay, right here. This is your guys tire pressure monitor sensor, okay, right there. So you can see with the tire that way, okay, we're not going to cause any damage to it. So I'll go ahead, just remove the tire, but all the rest of the way. Okay, and just get it out. And now guys, 
What are we going to do? I'll bring that sensor Okay, to about right here. Now, let me show you what we'll be doing next. Right here, guys. Okay, we need a small torque screwdriver. Uh, we have the whole set up there. You can find the link, guys, for all the tools and parts in the description of the video below. We just go ahead and remove that screw now. That bolt. Get it out, careful not to lose it. Okay, and now grab it, shake it a little bit, comes out, guys. So we are ready to go ahead and install the new one now. So, I get a new one now, guys. We're going to push it in, make sure it goes all the way in. Install now. Okay, that same. Or a new screw if you have. We'll go ahead, get it tight all the way now. Okay, perfect guys, and all we have to do now, uh, install our tire, in reverse order we took it apart, and uh, we'll go ahead, put it on the balancer guys, and we'll balance it, because every time you remove the tire, I would recommend to rebalance it, unless you mark where the valve stem was, but you can still be a little bit off, so that's what we'll be doing next. Next guys, I'll explain how we're going to put it on. Okay, what I'm going to do quick, I'm going to clean the wheel, okay, right here. Just make sure that it doesn't have any dust. I'm going to apply a little bit of lubrication on the lip so that way the tire will go and jump the lip pretty easy. I'll do the same thing to the top as well guys. Okay, don't get the sensor wet. Just avoid the sensor, but right above the sensor, the lip get it wet. Now I'm going to get guys a tire and uh, actually what I will do, I will uh, get the tire ready as well, on both sides. Okay, like that. One side is ready. Now the second one. Let me get a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to place it guys, and let me explain, okay, let's come with the camera this way, right here. Now, what you're going to do guys, okay, with the camera facing this way, okay, we're going to get now, okay, let, let me show you like that. Okay, maybe come a little bit like that. I'm going to get the tire in, okay, and you want guys, okay, that valve stem to be the last point that will get, uh, the, the, the tire will jump. Okay, watch now. That way, will not cause any damage to the valve stem and uh, okay, the um, TPMS sensor. Same thing for the outside. Again, valve stem right there. I'm going to start it about right here. Perfect. All we have left now, guys. Okay, let's come back. Okay, release the tire. And I'm going to go ahead and inflate and we'll be ready to balance it after that. So you can see how easy that thing jumps. I'll just get it inflated and we'll balance it next. So we got the wheel on the, the balance machine now. We already put the weights guys and check it out. This is, we zeroed it out. So. That's how you guys replace the TPMS sensor guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.